want to do a Minecraft tour of my Minecraft board because I worked hard on it. I, I flipped it around and created a little bit so I could do a few things uh, that you know typically would be incredibly hard on survival. I don't have the, the most time to play this game, but I enjoy it nonetheless. So what we have here is the trap house. Um, this is basically where people would spawn in and you know you're pretty much surrounded by lava here you're kind of trapped you know kind of see this ship going on here right now I turned flying on for this video so I could give you a better tour but uh, typically I wouldn't be you know playing it like this I, I like to play this on you know hard mode you know ultra difficulties as hard as I can get it I, I, I like the challenge but what we're about to do here is I'm gonna show you that the pirate ship here actually works it's actually a functioning thing sea death is one of my friends that actually came in here and gave me a hand on this boat i uh i actually tried to copycat the jackdaw from assassin's creed the best i could i tried to copycat the jackdaw so this is kind of like what came out and uh so anyways uh barely see me over here see barely see me all right so anyways let's give you a tour of the boat now this is a functioning boat like I said it's got a cannon system check it out flip this switch look what that does oh my bejeebers now if it wasn't raining I have it raining but those arrows typically yeah they wiped out and then check it out guys it feeds in, puts a TNT out, and then, boom! Oh my god, look what happened, ladies and gentlemen. It blew up my friggin' house. <laughs> Can't blow up its city in, though. But that one is one hell of a cannon, folks. So, without further ado... I know y'all are wanting to see the trap house, so when you come into this board, you're trapped. Alright, you gotta go through here. So it says, welcome trap world, puzzles, traps, parkour, and more. By now you may have noticed you are trapped, and that's... A one-way door there so 50 50 trap a lever opens a door obviously folks I know which door it is correct but this is what happens when you hit the wrong door drops you down into the spider web here the wrong choice thanks for playing right so what happens is that I would actually uh, appear invisible I have host options on and then I could respawn you back here in this room where you can try it again you know what I mean so obviously um, this would be the right door you come in here what we have here is a trap called lava pit now you wouldn't be able to jump that unfortunately you know what I mean you would die but what I have is something over here in the chest for new players. If you don't know how to teleport with Enderpearl, then by now, I would hope I could help you out. You can actually throw this across like this. Well, I just totally screwed the pooch on that one, but I think you get the point. And uh, yeah, so then that's the, that's that trap. So yeah, next one. This is the parkour trap. Do you even parkour, bro? All right. I know that a lot of people love the parkour videos um, on YouTube and stuff. So I, I wanted to do a little <clears throat> a little tribute to that. I know you guys want to see me ace this parkour challenge. Let's see if I can one try it, folks. Nope, I would be dead right now. But, as you can see, I put some work into it. Got a little functioning clock in there. 
that makes these levers come out and then if you make it over here it goes into the next room which is bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this to creative mode so you can see what I would do if I was the one controlling the trap room because typically somebody would come in here and then they would run through the gauntlet and I would be invisible uh, just kind of spawning stuff up and uh, running the traps you know so anyways so you come in here and you're gonna get a set of armor right and that is gonna help you get through this next room it says beware of fire poison all that so basically what I do right is I come in here get myself a little creeper rig get a blaze and I get a cave spider that's right where's the cave spider at cave spider now the blaze and the cave spider mixed together is a deadly concoction of, of DOT damage over time so basically what I'll do right is while they're in there suiting up and putting on the armor I actually come in through here there's a maintenance tunnel right here see so I actually fly up through here go into the maintenance tunnel and then I'll spawn everything in here like this, see? See, but at the moment, my maximum egg count is at the limit. That's something that PS4 is just... You want to hear a rant? This upsets me because I see friggin' computer guys on there spawning up thousands of whatever they want. And I can only have like maybe 50 or 60 things on PlayStation 4. It's... it's it's not this, yeah. I hate it. But anyways, typically I would spawn a bunch of stuff in here. In order for me to do that, unfortunately I have to go kill all my animals in my farm, then come back to the trap house, and then I can spawn uh, enemies in the trap house and stuff. But basically I would spawn a blaze and a cave spider in here, and then, yeah, that would, that would create a deadly concoction. <clears throat> Excuse me very much. So, moving on to the next trap. So the lever's up here, I would flip it, the next guy would come in, i go in through here, and come out to the next trap. Okay, so what you see here is lava push. And then typically I, I actually have it set up so that the torches on the wall, if you line yourself up with them, you won't get pushed off, see? And that's how this one works. Now this is basically just for new players. You know when you know when pesky new players come into your board and start messing around? Well this is what they would have to go through instead of because we have another like section of the map where it's set up where we actually do our thing. So it's the same thing as lava push only it's lava drop. And basically, yeah, I know y'all want to see me do this, but I'll save that for another video. I'll try to one-try this this gauntlet just so you can see it is totally possible. And this is the first chance anybody gets to come outside and view what's going on. So it says fresh air and the rain feels nice because you've just been in a bunch of lava you know traps and stuff you have done well the chest over there has upgrades and you deserve them because I spawn about 50 zombies in there and uh yeah we get it popping <laughs> so basically oh oh man oh we didn't want to do that oh we didn't want to do that did we Alright, so we spawn a bunch of zombies in there. And, uh, I'll show you some of the stuff in here. This is the chain armor and some swords and stuff that you get for the next trap so you can beat, beat it. And, uh, beat it, beat it. I don't know if you think of that when I said it. That's what I was thinking. And, uh, yeah, this is basically the battleground right here for the zombie fight. I spawn a bunch of zombies back here. The the guys they'll filter in and then try to fight all the zombies. And once they kill all the zombies, then I'll flip the switch right up here. That sets off the fireworks into the sky. 
Good job, good job, everybody. And I'll shut it off. And I actually flicker this thing on and off. I can't actually show you the other perspective, but this is that this big ass arrow right here is actually supposed to flash <laughs> on and off. So, yeah. Put it down. And then you come in here. That's the door. And then I would enter through here and then open the door for you. A boom, just like that. And then you would drop down and enter up through here. Have fun with the zombie trap because I had a great time making you. Oh, I did too, man. I spent I spent a, a lot of time. Some was in survival, some was in creative. Obviously, all this obsidian would take me months to like get on survival. It took me a very long time. So, it is what it is. Hope you like the video anyways, you know, even though it's it's partially done in creative. I like to play it in survival. That's the important part. So this one here is called Trample Trap. Obviously, the idea is to make it down without dying. I know you guys want to see me do a, a video of me actually completing this stuff. And I will put one out eventually. Climb core trap. That's what this one is. Nathan Drake style. So, yeah, this is the one that makes most of my friends quit right here. Because this thing is crazy. I mean, it starts right here. You come up. Let's see if I can even make the first jump. Got the first jump down. Second jump down. We're making progress. Oh, third jump down. But anyways, as you can see... Yep, and I fell. It's no joke. And uh, it goes all the way up. All the way up to here. This is the final jump right here. And yeah, I, I really busted my butt on this. You know? So, I hope you guys enjoy the, the tour video. And that eventually comes right through here. Where... This is the final trap, right? Now, in my eyes, if you make it through all that, you deserve a spot in my board. So, I give you a suit of iron armor, nice sword, big old birthday cake, a celebration because you passed... Give you some diamonds and some pickaxes so you can get yourself a little pickaxe and boy you deserve a spot on my board if you pass it because yeah so as soon as you get all that stuff on i'm a bit of a troll no nah, not really but i like to mess with people i flip this switch and then down they go where they think they have just died but really there's a new door just right here I haven't finished because I don't know exactly what I want to do after they come out of the trap. I want to just have like this grand opening, this this thing that kind of just, I don't know, but either way, either way, that was the trap house tour. Let's uh, show you more of the board. I Like I said, I typically don't fly give you an aerial view of the trap house and everything together that makes that makes it is what it is and yeah so from here I think we're gonna go right to my house which is just right over here Give you a tour of this real quick. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Typical house, you know, nothing too too special. I like it. Big old nether portal there. And then what I really like is I can actually go all the way down to my dungeon. Right from you know anywhere in the top of that house basically. And then that comes right in. That's my trash receptacle. and Got everything set up. 
ready to rock because I love playing this game in survival, like I said. Excuse me. Here we go. Back up and go. So I kind of wanted to like create a game within a game, you know what I mean? Sort of like how the trap house started. I really think it would have been fun. It'd be fun to create my own game, I think. Something like that, maybe. I don't know, it's probably a lot of hardware now, so anybody that can create a beautiful game or a badass game, man, I, I tip my hat to you, you're amazing. Typical garden, with your typical waterfall, pushes it into hoppers, collects it underneath for me. And yeah, your typical garden. Maybe not so typical, I'm not sure. If you don't know how to do this, I could tell you. It's basically just hoppers with water, dispensers, push your buttons, pushes all the water into hoppers. And obviously all your fruit too, so. And then this part I really like. I like the view of my house because a lot going on, a lot of eye candy, lots of stuff to look at. That's the lagoon down there. I'll be going to that in a second. Show you the old animal farm. It's one of my favorite ways to drop in any anywhere. Animal farm. <laughs> All right, and so there they are. And uh, I know what you're thinking: Silence of the Lambs. It puts the Joe dirt. Love that movie, anyways. Then this is the wife's house. She lives over here. Get a nice tour of that. She has a really nice way of decorating. I really like how she does it. Going to be going into the grand area here. I'm pretty sure this is where she does most of her living. Most of her craft. All that good stuff. Yeah, it looks like she's got her crafting table right over there. See, that's nice. I like it. She did a good job. Clearly, we have fire spreads off people because, you know, we'd be, yeah, everything would get set on fire. That goes up into a guest bedroom that we have set up. Just in case if anybody comes in on the board, they're trying to get out of the rain, for example. They got a place to go. And that goes, bam, bam, right into the sugar cane field. You can never have enough paper. Enchanting books and spell books and all sorts of stuff, so it's a lot of fun. Um where I'd like to do a lot of my fishing right here. You yeah, know, hanging out on the fishing. And uh, got the King Boo up there. Some cool stuff to look at around here. So let's take uh, the rest of the tour. One thing I really like about the board is, you know, I think uh, it was uh, Adult Minecraft. Big shout out to Adult Minecraft. I'm subscribed to him. He's the one that kind of gave me the idea to make a walkway because he said walkways really add an element to your board. Just kind of brings it all together, connects it, adds functionality. So I did that. Man, you know, once I got the walkway down, I just started 
I just started decorating it, making it a thing, and yeah, I really like this walkway now, so I hope you do too. Lots of stuff going on. Nice little majestic walk. Got some places up there we can go check out a little bit. Just want to take a look around, take a walk. Got our guillotine up there. <laughs> That's where we take all the prisoners. Okay, got our dragon up there. He's keeping overwatch for us. And of course that's the that's the horse pasture there. Got the horses in there, you know. I don't know if you guys want to go up to the guillotine or not. I figured we'd go check it out. I don't know if you guys want to see more of that dragon. Um, I can't take full credit for that, obviously, because there's a lot of designs on YouTube for this type of dragon. You can find it yourself. It's uh, fairly easy to make, a little difficult, especially because the tutorial that I watched, man, the guy kept redoing it and redoing it. So, <laughs> yeah, I did a, I did a good job, I think. Anyways, let's go down to the guillotine. So this is where we march him up, man, to the animal. I don't know why I'm doing the Imperial March. Beheaded! We've got it. Nice little touch there. Bloody! So let's come on down. Get with it. Show you the rest of the stuff here. Come up and be a part of the show. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of the coolest cats in the world. He's so unimpressed. Look at him. Ah, he's a good kitty. This, his name is Squint. And uh, boy, I love him. He's got quite the personality on him. Let's get back into this here. <clears throat> Got ourselves a little castle back here. Let's see, we got, uh, got the bow and arrow guy back here. I like how that came out. Big ups to the YouTube guys that put out these types of tutorials and things like that, man, because it, it has definitely helped me make a, a pretty cool board from, from my opinion. Hopefully yours as well. But that is the bone arrow guy. I don't know if you want me to get a little closer to kind of inspect him. The closer you get, the less it makes sense. Does that make sense? It's more like, you know, you got to see it from a distance, and then it looks a lot better. Yeah. But yeah, so there's that, and there's this guy, I'm sure you might have seen on YouTube, tutorials for this guy. You know, we just kind of change the color, try to kind of make it our own thing, but big drops. Thank you very much guys for putting this type of information out on the internet, that's awesome. And basically, you know, you can get uh, into here from either this tunnel or the, the walkway that we just took with the dragon overlooking it. I figured that'd be a cooler way to come through. 
You got the sword over there and the big old volcano. Let's go up and check this out. We got the castle. And uh, nice little quarters here. Basically, a uh, pretty decent castle. We also got tips and tutorials for this from online as well. Thank you very much. And uh, if you guys want to see the the underneath, let me go and show you that real quick. I almost forgot. And that's what it looks like down here. Well, that's basically what I did. You got kind of like a stage up here. <clears throat> Entertain people. And uh, that's pretty much it. I have myself a little maintenance tunnel over here. Of course, I love my little maintenance tunnels. Boo. And uh, I think, yeah, we got the top decorated too. I forgot to go up here and show you guys the top. And that's basically what we have going on here in the top here. Chandelier and all that. And let's go ahead and get a bird's eye view of the castle. I think it's pretty cool. I like how it came out. And I don't know if you guys want to see this volcano over here. There's kind of something off in the distance. Something cool to look at. And I uh, haven't built any more. If you guys think this is a cool board and you want to stick with the decorations that we have going on here. Kind of medieval. You know, kind of gothic. Uh, dragons and, and swords and bows and arrows. And just, you know, try to keep it dark and and myth mythological. I'm kind of stretching my vocabulary there, guys. No. <laughs> but, uh, no, man. If you guys think this is pretty cool, you want to be a part of it, you think you can build better than me, you want to add to this board, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, I'll get back to you. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much it. I'll kind of do some more aerial views. Got a graveyard over here. And eventually, guys, I actually want to bring a roller coaster through, you know, a lot of this stuff. You know, bring it, because that's why, like, you see areas like this, for example. Because I have, I have all the intentions of bringing a roller coaster through here at some at some point, and uh, you know, possibly even soon. So, leave a like, leave a comment. Hopefully, you like it. This is Riff Raff Gaming. Trying to make a channel here, trying to do our thing. Take another aerial view over here. Got some stuff going on underground as well. All kinds of things going on here. And uh, yeah, that's basically the Minecraft board right there, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the tour. Riff Raff, signing out.